It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa begins in goal as Pini Quetta plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Raheem Sterling plays with Christian Pulisic out wide. And the starting striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the contest begins. Just the challenge that was required. Palinha. Tosin Adarabayo. And now with Mbabu. Adarabayo. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Pierre Emerick Obamian. Aspiliqueta. And Palinha with it. Take it away. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Pereira. Mitrovic. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Jorginho. Quick thinking defensively. Aspili Quetta. Really good attacking play. Crossing possibilities. Kovacic. A really top-notch piece of defending. Kovacic. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Harry Wilson. Superb effort to keep it in. Pereira. Just cutting off the supply. Sterling moving it forward chances on oh a goal there it is and the crowd stunned into silence well just look at this again the speed of counter attack is so impressive and what a clinical finish this is hit with such power by Aubameyang not much chance for the keeper there and they are back underway Chelsea with the advantage Mbabu on the ball Diop Harrison Reid Pereira Harry Wilson. Adarabayo. William. Pereira. 
A fine use of the ball. A wonderful intervention. Mateo Kovacic. Sterling has lost custody of it. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Mbabu. Now, let's see what they can do here. Pereira. Can they square the game? And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stop here! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So back underway, following the equaliser. Chilwell. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Pulisic. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Tosin Adarabayo. And Mitrovic. Harry Wilson. A really sumptuous ball. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Error by the keeper. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. So back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Mateo Kovacic. Good piece of attacking play from Raheem Sterling. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Obama Yang. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Craven Cottage. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Well, underway once more into the second half. And from a Chelsea point of view, it's all about battling back. And they have possession again. Pereira. Now William. And that is how to beat your opponent. Well, that is how to play advantage. He got in the way of that cross. Mateo Kovacic. Sterling. Sterling. It needs an accurate cross. 
Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. And now, passing it through. Sterling. And back with Kovacic. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. To make it 2-2. Two -two. And confidently converted. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Harrison Reed. William. Robinson. Tosin Adarabayo. So a half an hour remaining. Palinha. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Mitrovic using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Pierre Emerick Obamian. Oh, good vision. Obamian. Sterling. He needed to get there and did. Wonderful chance. Oh, that's a fine save. He's driven in the corner. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they take advantage of the situation? Not quite the counter attack that they had in mind. Kevin Mbabu. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Slipshod passing. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Can they forge ahead? Wonderful block. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Chelsea's corner as they try to take the lead here. Played over. I couldn't really direct it where he wanted. And unable to keep possession. Loftus cheek. Obama Yang, Kovacic! Great save at this stage. Well, that would have been the winner for sure. It's a great save. It's a short one. Laid into the centre. Well, it all counts for naught. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. 
Moving the ball forward with purpose. Jorginho. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. That's a short corner. Now delivering that deep cross. And able to get a body in the way. And a chance it is for Chelsea from the corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Now, well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Palinha. Now, William. And he did well to cut it out. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Still pushing for a winner. Oh, he's gone for goal. A goal! Will that be the decider? Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly and he times it perfectly. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Palinha. Vital interception. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. To beat for them. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game, and that has certainly been the case here, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal.